pag-uusapan natin tungkol sa food chain and food web. Organisms need food to survive. They can also make their own food like autotrophs or eat another organisms like heterotrophs. At dahil dito, food chains and food web are formed. Alam ba ninyo na ang sun ay ang source ng energy? Kung saan, it is the initial energy source. Ginagamit ito ng mga producers tulad ng plants to create their own food sa pamagitan lamang ng photosynthesis. Through being eat or eaten, a food chain is formed. Pinapakita nito ang single pathway from the producers up to the last consumers. At pinapakita rin po ng food chain how energy flows in this pathway. Halimbawa po, meron tayong food chain kung saan nagsisimula ito sa producers which is the plant. It uses the energy coming from the sun to create or make its own food. Ang plant ay kinakain ng isang organism called a consumer. Alam naman natin na there are a lot of consumers. Ang kumakain sa producer ay tinatawag na primary consumer or herbivore. Where in this case, a grasshopper. Ang kumakain naman sa grasshopper ay tinatawag na secondary consumer. At ang kumakain naman sa secondary consumer ay tinatawag na tertiary consumer. And the food chain goes on. Organisms are eaten by other organisms. Sa food chain, Meron tayong tinatawag na 10% rule. Ano ang ibig sabihin nito? It means that when energy is asked in an ecosystem from one trophic level to the next, example po, from producer papuntang consumer to another consumer. Only 10% of the energy will be passed On. Tingnan mo po natin kung paano ang 10% rule works. Halimbawa, meron tayong 1 million joules of sunlight. This is harnessed by the producers or the plants. 10,000 joules, ito ang energy na makukuha ng mga primary producers. Kapag kinain ng isang consumer ang producer, only 10% is passed. Ulitin ko po, we will just multiply into 0.10 or 10%. The answer is 1,000 joules. Ito ang energy na makukuha nitong primary consumer. Kapag kinain naman ito ng iba pang organism, We just multiply it by 10% or 0.10 which is 100 joules. So sa mga secondary consumers will only receive 100 joules mula sa 1 million joules mula sa sunlight. And once the secondary consumer is eaten, the energy that is passed on is only 10% or 10 joules. Sa ating ecosystem, hindi independent ang isang food chain to another bagkos they actually overlap. The natural interconnection of food chain into an ecosystem is what we call food web. Sa food web, ipinapakita nito kung paano mag-overlap ang food chain and how They interact with one another. Halimbawa, sa larawang ito, makikita natin ang isang food web. In this food web, we can find a single pathway or a food chain. 
we will start from the very beginning which are the producers these berries will be eaten by a butterfly which is the primary consumer then this butterfly will be eaten by a frog which is the secondary consumer then this frog will be eaten by a snake a tertiary consumer after that this snake may be eaten by another organism making it another consumer itong pathway na ito ay isa lamang po sa dami ng food chain na makikita natin sa food web na ito at dyan nagtatapos ang ating talakayan ngayong araw kung bago ka pa lang sa channel ko pahit ang subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification bell button para lagi kang updated sa mga sumusunod kong videos. At ang video na ito ay libreng share sa mga kakilala mo at maging sa mga classmates mong grade 7 ngayon. Bye!